All right, guys, so I wanted to go ahead and show you my Waybar config and why I like to use Waybar. So let me go ahead, I'll increase my font size a bit. And as with most programs on Linux, you're gonna find the configuration files inside of your .config folder. And Waybar is a Wayland, I think it's just Wayland, uh, as the name implies, Waybar. Uh, it's used on Wayland window managers for a bar, and it's remarkably simple to configure. You have a config file called config, and then you have a style.css file. So if I go here, you'll see style.css. So let's go ahead and go into the config file. This is where you define the bar and also the modules for the bar and place them. So, which would be part of configuring the bar, but you know, or defining the bar. But we have a layer, which is, we, we've got set to top, which means, you know, render on top of everything. Position, top, uh, cause I wanted it at the top. And then we have modules left, center, and right. Now, inside of this, I have my custom packages module, which is this up here, which it's actually a script that goes and checks uh, how many package updates I have on Arch. Then I have my workspaces for Hyperland and my system tray, which you can see, you know, for Discord and such. Then the window name up at the top and memory, network, battery and clock. So pretty straightforward there as well. And then I actually start defining stuff. The Hyperland workspaces, you know, it's got a format option. I tell it to just use icon. Again, when it comes to configuring Waybar, you can always just go and use other people's configs. That's one of the really nice things about Waybar. On their GitHub page, they have a crap ton of examples for you to go over. So definitely go over there and check that out. And Again, this is the rest of it. The rest of this config file is just me defining, well, options for the bar for these specific individual modules, configuring them like on click, what does it do? So like for the Wi-Fi thing, if I click on it, it brings up NMTUI, which looks all screwed up right now. I don't know, literally never had that happen before. I've, I've literally never had this happen before. Interesting but it still did what it was supposed to. It did launch Kitty with an MTUI. Kitty's just having a stroke, but yeah. So that's how the bar works. And then for actually theming it and styling it, it's remarkably simple. It uses CSS. If you're familiar with CSS, this will be remarkably simple. If you're not familiar with CSS and you're scared, let me be abundantly clear. CSS is nothing to be scared of. Play around with it, have fun. You're theming something. CSS does have the remarkable ability to make pretty much anything you wanna do possible. And if you mess up, it just, the added thing you wanted just won't be there. So I've got a whole bunch of options for, you know, the workspaces, tool tips, which I don't actually think I have anything tool tips you know the windows um <clears throat> the name battery again that's how i get the color for for everything um set up the settings for it all it's a remarkably simple program to configure and set up i cannot recommend waybar enough i have it all configured i have no real reason to mess with anything it didn't take a long time to set up it looks great and it does exactly the job of a bar that you want it to do. I do wanna go ahead and say before I end off this video that if you don't use a bar, let me know down in the comments because I respect that. If you do use a bar and, you, and you're not using Waybar, what are you using? And if you do end up using Wayland, would you use Waybar? Let me know down in the comments below. Coming up on the screen now is all the fantastic people who support me over on Patreon. Big shout out to all these boys. Thank you very much. That support does mean a lot. We also do have channel memberships now. So if you wanna check out those, that's an option. 
thank you boys for everything on the channel it it does genuinely mean a lot and uh i hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day i'll see you in the next one peace hey.